Welcome back, everybody. It's the Bourbon Judge. We're ready to have a little bit of fun. This is Express Court Part 2. Two Express Courts in one week. Look at that. All right, so today we're going to dive into uh, Barstown Bourbon Company, the newly released Chateau de la Beau, and this is the second release of the Chateau de la Beau. So uh, the first one came out a couple years ago. Everyone loved it. I had a very small sample of it. I enjoyed it as well, but unfortunately, I was not able to get, get a bottle of it. Um, go figure the, uh, the judge luck. I was actually at the distillery a week before it was released and uh, unfortunately I didn't get a chance to get a bottle. Luckily, uh, I have fantastic and wonderful patrons. So one of my patrons, my buddy Chris H, he went to, um, I think he went to uh, bar down to the distillery, like literally like the day I think it actually came out and uh, grabbed the bottle. So Chris, huge appreciation my man, thank you very much. I did dive into this a little bit, I could not wait. Uh, but let's go ahead and dive into it real quick. So. All right, so again, this one came out, uh, like I said, on my birthday, so back on 9-9. Uh, pour this real quick. So when you think about the Chateau de la Beau Part 2, what kind of comes to mind? A couple, couple things. Number one, uh, it's a blend of 12-year Kentucky bourbon and 10-year Tennessee bourbon, which we assume that 10-year Tennessee is more than likely Dickel. MSRP, so at the distillery, the MSRP is $160. But from what I've been hearing from a lot of different people that are seeing it like in different stores, when you are finding it outside of uh, outside of the distillery, it's close to like $185, even closer to like $200. It's a highly allocated whiskey, so of course stores are gonna mark it up as they unfortunately always do. So for this one though, um, what I love about the Chateau de la Beau Part Two is the fact that, you know, I always think Barstown does a fantastic job of blending whiskey. So you're taking honestly great whiskey, blending it together, enhancing it, and just making some damn good whiskey in general. So the question is going to be, is this worth the hype? Is it is it just as good as the last one? Is it, you know, is it worth going out? If you do see it, is it worth paying even a little bit more? We shall see. All right. So this one comes in at 107 proof. Let me get into the nose real quick. This one comes in at 107 proof. Whew. And I will say, I have not seen this anywhere near me. I know a lot of my friends in like Chicago have found it, uh, obviously in Kentucky have found it, but I've not seen it on the East Coast as of yet. Oh my goodness, this is nice. This nose is amazing. All right, so again, when they took that 12 year and that 10 year, 12 year Kentucky, 10 year uh, Tennessee whiskey, when they blended it together, half of the whiskey was finished in the uh, Chateau de la Beau Armiac cast for two years on the lower floor. The other half was finished for 16 months on the top floor and then kind of all came together. So they did, you know, Barstown again, they're very, uh, very unique. I love that. I love their style and approach. <laughs> I just wish I could find me a bottle of it, but we, we shall see, hold on. All right. So this nose is just truly, the nose on this is amazing. First thing kind of pops out, it's like a candied apple kind of a nose. Very fruit forward, candy apple, tons of caramel. Oh my gosh. Tons of like grape, some plums, a smidge of cinnamon in the back. Oh yeah, that cinnamon is definitely there. Oh my gosh, this is really, really nice. Tons of like cherries as well. Ooh. And I even get like a, a very small, and I mean a small note of like a little bit of pepper in there as well. And even like a smidge of mint far in the background though. But extremely fruit forward extremely like that candy apple that's like the one thing that really kind of comes to mind oh my gosh nose on this is like amazing <laughs> Woo! all right my friends hey real quick three quick easy favors number one hit the like button number two drop me a comment let me know have you tried number two chateau de la beau and if so what are your thoughts do you like it do you like it better than number one equally just let me know what you think last but not least hit the subscribe button cool all right all right, my friends, as we say, cheers, everybody. Ooh. Mm. Oh, man, that's not bad. <laughs> not bad at all. Let me get a little bit more. All right. Cheers again, friends. Mm. Oh, wow. Ooh. At 107 proof, that's a nice and long finish. Might even sip hotter till it closer to like a 110, maybe even 115. But what I love about that is everything in the nose transfers to the palate. Every single thing. All those candy apple notes, 
Um, wow, that is still going down. That is quite uh, quite powerful. I like that. Um, all those candy apple notes, the plums, the strawberries, that mint and that pepper notes also did come through, by the way, in the palette and in the finish. This, my friends, I have to give a judgment. <laughs> I think you already know what it is. This is a definite buy. The question is, is it worth the hype and is it worth spending closer to like 185 of the $200? You see me pouring a little bit more. I think that might answer your question. Unfortunately for the judge, I can't get, I haven't found a bottle of it, but uh, again, I'm extremely happy that I'm thankful that I have the sample from my buddy, Chris H. Thank you very much, Chris. And uh, maybe one day I will find a bottle of this bad boy. Until the next time, my friends, peace, cheers, and this is definitely worth every little bit of 200 bucks. Take care, everyone. See you.